How's it going guys? Toxic Nerfer here. You're wondering, what am I doing in this video here? Well today I'm going to be talking about a little something I'll call a mod for you guys. But I call it more like a fixer-upper on the Double Dealer. You know like how the Double Dealer has this jam door right here? And there's like a little... Whoops, my camera. My fingers are in the way of the camera. But there's like a little bump there that, that is right next to this railing right here. Well that stops the access door halfway up so what I did is I um I used a well a made in the USA 299 Stanley um a 299 Stanley's knife it's like one of those boxer knives that you got it's one of the old school ones it has that like you have to use a flathead screwdriver right here to open it up and get the blades out so I I carved the piece off, and this is what's left of it. Let me get in the light here so you can see. This is what's left of that piece right there. So I, I kind of took it off. So it can. So now the door, if I can open it with my one off hand here. See, <laughs> there you go. I can actually now open the door like this. Well, pick. Well, it can't do it like sideways, but. Now I can open it like this because, as you can see in here, if you put it like halfway like it used to, you couldn't cram your fingers in there. I mean, you could, but it'd be a pain. With this, like wide, wide open, you have a you have enough room to get inside. <laughs> you have enough room to get inside and um, pull the darts out, just just in case you get a jam. And I'm starting to have a little bit of jams with this guy. Now I can understand why a lot of people hate it. But they do have a jam clearing door for your darts. And they have this little button here that I didn't tell you in the uh, other thing. Um, in the instructions, there's a button where, like, if you can't pull back the slide right here, like I'm trying to do right now, pull back the slide, you just push this button, if you heard that click, and then you can pull back the slide. Which is a pretty neat feature that I think Nerf has done. Um, and I've been playing with this thing a lot of times. I, I've checked that the double shot is random now with my darts. It's, it, it could be my darts, but some of them are still a little brand new, even though they've been shot a few times. But the spread, like last time we checked spread, like with this door, it was a, it was a tight spread here. But when I tested it before... It, it became as a tight spread going far, but once it, it reached the steps here, it started to spread on this panda. I think they shot like right here and they fall. But now they are starting to spread like crazy, which you would expect for something that has double barrels right now. I mean, and funny thing is, this is all powered by one plunger tube. If we can go open the access door again, and I'm going to try to show you in the light if I can. Um, here's this good angle. There's only one plunger tube connecting to two barrels. Remember the barrel break IX2 and the rough cut 2x4? That blaster had... Those blasters had two plunger tubes and two barrels. Which has an even split of air. Which, if this blaster had it then this blaster wouldn't have been at least acceptable here. And the spring, in my mind, is not that weak, but it's weak enough that you would explain why performances have been gone down very short. But I still like it the way it is. It is a fun blaster to use, even though it jams up like a like crazy. Because I had a lot of jams. I tried shooting at No Name 3. He was, like, right here. And once he knocked down, he just laid there. He didn't like fall down like this. So <laughs> that's one thing to keep in mind. But yeah, so that's how to like actually like like um, fix your jam door, like trying to like open it the, all the way. Now, if I were to do the Ravonics 360, I'll tell you in the words, impossible because it's a vortex blaster and it's using that like this mechanism. The, the Ravonics 360 has a mechanism where like where like the discs are like this but that mechanism that mechanism turns it right here so they can fire out which is a pretty weird mechanism 
but it does kind of like you know help you out with it kind of a little bit I basically need to find the Ravonics to do that and and I was easy on this guy the, this plastic is pretty hard which you would expect for nerf ABS plastic it's pretty hard I mean the magwells on the side here if we could check they're pretty tough plastic they're not bending when you look at like plastic like you would see on a um, Busby blaster I'll say that plastic can squeeze <laughs> remember I used to have a Hawk and it was pretty awful and a tech 6 those Busby's blasters were pretty pretty bad yeah and the reason why I've knew the jam clearing button was in the instruction manual right here it says it right here let's see you can read it for yourself let me there we go and then here's the button and it's located right over there on the other side they say that this jam clearing door can open all the way. Hell, it's like that. I mean, that's that's like, here's here's what it's, it, it looks like. Like, if I could pick this up here and just take the mags out, the nice little P-Max here, open that up. Well, at least just do this. And you look at the instructions. Like, look at that. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing right here. Ignore the start that I just didn't have the mags inside the mag wells, but literally, that's the exact same thing. And they had to put a little nub in to make it look like that. Which is shocking to me. Sometimes this thing will, will close down again, but that's what you expect when you're trying your best to, like, fix it up. But yeah, so that's so that's kind of, like, how it is. Double dealer, I mean, it may be bad, but we like it because of that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, stay scary. And I'll see you next time.